I Have to Do is a Dream by the Everly Brothers sounds beautiful on the mandolin. The version you're hearing in the background is being played in what we call the chord melody style. The song and I go back a long ways. It was one of the first 45 records that I ever purchased. And of course you need one of these little thingies in the middle to be able to play it on your record player. As the name chord melody style implies, you're going to want to know the chords to the song and the melody to the song. So beginning with the chords, here they are, where it says I in, that's the introduction. So C, A minor, just using fingers 1 and 3, frets 2 and 5, and I'll build that into my F chord, which is... Finger one on string one, finger two on string three, finger three staying where it did on the A minor chord. And then I go to a simple G chord. Using open chords because they ring nicely, just like guitar rhythm. Dream, 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 dream. So I'm doing a little down and up picking down, down, up, down. To make smooth chord changes, you might come off of the chord as you're doing your upstroke. If you do it light enough, nobody's going to hear it. If the big stretch F chord doesn't work for you, you can simply use fingers 1 and 2 on strings 4 and 3. Just be sure not to strum the first string as that note's not in the chord. After you play the first verse, you do the repeat. When you go through the second verse, you come in and take the second ending, which has a C to a C7. Just move fingers one and two, flip them around. And that leads you to the F chord that begins the bridge. This time it's a full measure. I can make you mine, taste your lips of wine. Then a split measure D minor. Any time, night or day. So from the D minor to the G7, you just hold your first finger down. It goes through all of that again. Eventually you get to the long D. Laugh away. And then you're into the final verse. So our complete arrangement will have verse, second verse with the second ending, play the bridge, and come back and play a final verse. We'll now play the melody as the lead singer would sing it. Not the harmony part, just the melody notes. The tab will be scrolling across the screen so you can easily follow along. In playing the chord melody style, the highest note you hear will be your melody note. So I begin by strumming my C chord and making sure my E note rings nice. B 
because that's the melody note. Now it's time for the A minor chord. I put my fingers down, but I only strummed a string two so that that melody note jumps out at you. When I go to the F chord, the melody note's up here at fret five, string one. That means I need to play a different F chord in order to get that as my melody note along with the chord. And then I go to a G chord. I'm using fingers two, three, because I know the next melody note is over here on fret one. So that's just an insight as to how it's done. If you're interested in pursuing this, see the video description to send off for an email and I'll zip you the tab so you can try it. Otherwise, you can play your simple melody against my version. You can play your chords against my version and feel like you're just enjoying this wonderful arrangement. Hope you dig it.